in A, you run into problems. Oh, I have a problem. Why is this not running? Oh, well, I mean, it's global without an A, right? Um, and then another example here, just uh, printing an integer values is what I was saying. I guess we can kind of um, uh, carry on with our simple example that we have here. We're saying if you want to print an integer, key thing here is for you to print an integer, you look at the system call code for printing an integer, right? These things are available in manuals. Don't memorize this, don't waste your time and memorize this unless you have nothing better to do in life. Don't do this, if a question comes in the exam, you'll be given a table like this, perhaps even better. All you have to do is know how to use these things, how to print an integer. So I know, we know that uh, printing an integer involves using system call code number one. The process is the same. You initially, let's say we want to print, because right now when we run this program, right? This Capemba program, we run it, all it does is it just loads the value five into register eight. But what if we want to print that, we want to see it on the console? It's not there, right? Console there, it's not there. We want to see it on the console. What do we do? We say we go through a systematic process of, after we, we, we know that is, this value is in, is in register eight, we want to print what's in register eight, process for printing an integer. Load system call code number one into V0. How you load that is up to you. Maybe we should use things that people are interested, uh, familiar with. So we are loading the value one into register V0. To say we want to print an integer. The other thing you have to do is specify the value that you wish to print by putting it in A0. Yes? This is a step here. So the value that you wish to print must be in, in the register A0. Here's a question. How are we going, how are we going to move, put the value that is in eight into A0? Yes, Ms. Mlenga. Putting on uh, Adidas, right? What do we, what do, how do we put the value of in, uh, that is in register eight into A0? Yes. Yeah. You know the answers, right? But yeah, <laughs> wanted someone who doesn't know the answers. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can move the move, move instruction, right? It's just put. Listen, you don't have to use the move instruction. If if here's a question for you: If I wanted to put what is in eight in register nine, how would I do that? If I wanted to put the I know the value five is in eight. How do I put register the value that is in register eight into register nine? How do I do that? Hmm. Yeah, so move using add instruction. There's a number of different ways, right? We can use add instruction. Right? What he's suggesting is a pseudo instruction. What he's suggesting is something that is intuitive to most of us because we've been using the add instruction. How do you do that? We want to put what is in A0. And how do you do that? We put what is in eight into A0, we just add the zero to what is in eight and put it in A0, boom, right? Line number nine, done. Now once you put, once you put the value that you wish to print into A0, which we've done in line number nine, you then issue Cisco. <clears throat> Always when you're making use of um, a service, an operating system service or a system call, you must issue Cisco to signal the fact that you want to uh, call a particular service, a desired service, so Cisco, and then once you save this uh, program, you go back to QTSPIM, you initialize and load or something, um, and then you run it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. The five now comes to the console, printing, it's a simple thing, printing string. But the steps, right? That's key thing here is just the steps that you go through when you're printing an integer. You first of all specify system call code one to signal the fact that you're interested in printing an integer, and then you move the value that you wish to print into the register A0, and then you issue Cisco, and then your, your integer will be printed out. Yes, sir? 